Hey guys, September 16th, we're back here in Iowa. Mike and I just got back from a elk hunt this past Sunday, and uh, we were fortunate enough to tag out on the last morning. We were there for 12 days, had an awesome time, bunch of encounters with some really nice bulls. So it was an awesome trip, uh, really glad that I went. But now we're back to Whitetails, and uh, today we're out here on the town farm. This is a farm that I had permission on last year. Didn't really hunt it much, but this year I decided to put a little bit more effort into kind of seeing what these deer do and making a few food plots. So I spent a lot of time this summer scouting this farm. I actually filmed a really nice eight pointer. He's got a couple kickers. I think he's a three year old. I have pictures of him from last year. Uh, I can't decide if he's three or if he's four. I'll kind of let you guys decide, but I'm kind of on the fence about that deer. I'd really like to see what he does next year. There's also another big nine pointer who's got a big kicker off his left base who we're going to call the unicorn buck on this farm and he's only shown up a couple times this summer so I'm hoping maybe he kind of shifts and kind of moves in here as these bucks kind of start to figure out their fall ranges but he'd be he'd definitely be a deer that I'd be interested in on this farm if he was on here a little bit more than what he is now um, so there's a couple other deer in here that are solid deer uh, a couple eight pointers one's got a really tight kind of frame just real pretty big body deer there's another one who's got really long beams and uh, my intern Hunter, who's actually been filming with me here this past summer, I think we decided we're gonna try and get him on one of, one of those two deer. So hopefully they start showing up. It'd be kind of interesting to pop in here and uh, try and see if we can kill one of those two deer for him. He's from Kentucky, he's never killed an Iowa deer, so it'd be kind of cool to get him on one. So uh, definitely looking forward to this farm. We've got another food plot that I made down on the bottom. It's doing a little better than this one. Um, it's right along the creek. We actually went in there earlier today and sprayed it with clethodon. A um, bunch of grass growing up in there. I didn't really get the kill that I wanted with Roundup initially back in July before I planted. And so I figured I needed to go back there and spray a lot of that grass out of there. It's starting to come up really well for what it is. Like I said, I didn't really get a good spray, but there's a lot of big and beastie coming up. That's just going to be a kind of a stand that we're going to sit and learn. A lot of the deer during the rut kind of run that creek. So it could definitely be a spot where we could catch a buck cruising that creek and maybe feeding in that food plot, you know, just gives them a little bit of incentive. So this farm is all hay field. It's got one big creek that kind of runs through it and it just, everything dumps down to the creek. Um, and I got permission to come in here and spray these plots, like I said, back in July and got a decent kill on this one. Um, there for about three weeks after I see it to Big and Beastie, we never got any rain. So it was really rough on this. That's so kind of on this knob um, that just is kind of in the sun all day. Uh, there's no shade, so it's kind of tough, but there is a little bit coming up. We got some rain while we were gone on our New Mexico trip, uh, so that helped out this plot quite a bit, but it's still kind of struggling. Hopefully we get a little bit more rain here in these next couple weeks, and it, it ought to really jump it and boost it and get it going. So it's only about 150 yards in here to the tree stand. We pop up in a cedar tree, and you can overlook this whole little uh, secluded field in here. So it works really well in a south wind. We don't hardly ever bust anything getting in here. Uh, we're going to put a scrape tree. Out in, the, out in the middle of this food plot. These deer seem to kind of work up this little opening that kind of funnels them down and they work back and cross this field. So if we can give them something to kind of stop at within 30 yards, I think that's gonna help us out quite a bit. And I had a lot of pictures of deer in here last year, early season, so um, some really good buck pictures. So we're gonna get the scrape tree put up, gonna get a stand hung in that cedar tree, figure out a camera stand for Hunter to get into or myself if one of these bucks starts showing up in this little food plot. But I also wanted to give you guys a little update on the CRP farm. Hunter and I actually went out yesterday, pulled the card, have a couple of really nice deer. Um, nothing that I don't think is over four years old. Um, but like I said, that farm kind of heats up as October and November come on. So there's a really nice nine pointer, or I think it's four, and then another 10 pointer, I also think it's four in there too. So there's no potential shooters on that card pull, a couple of really nice deer but they are starting to hit that scrape. So I'm definitely gonna leave that camera in there and see what starts to show up as these deer kind of settle into their ranges. But also on the south side of that property, uh, the landowner went in and made a crossing across this little ditch and they cleared out a bunch of, a bunch of brush and stuff along that, along that south fence line. And so there was just bare dirt. So I got permission to put a little uh, autumn quick plot down in there. There's a bunch of grass growing up. So we went and sprayed all the grass and. Uh, it's actually starting to come up pretty well, so I'm excited for that. We hung a set. It's probably going to be more of an observation set in October. We can see that whole CRP field. Probably be a good spot to kill some does. You know, real easy to get into, real easy to get out of. Not really uh, damaged too much by hunting that. So looking forward to that. Hopefully some bucks start showing up. And uh, I'm headed to Northeast Iowa this weekend going on a trout fishing trip with uh, one of my buddies. So looking forward to that. I'll bring you guys a little highlight of that uh, next week when we get back. And uh, 
Season's two weeks out. We got a couple spots uh, picked out for opening day on October 1st for doe hunting. Got a couple tags for Washington County. I think I may go over and uh, hunt on Mike's farm to kill a couple does that second week of season, but uh, looking forward to it. Can't get here soon enough.